Hello girls and boys. Today I'm going to tell you a story about Flora the Mouse. This one is about their spring cleaning after their hibernation. The whole mouse family woke up after their winter nap and together started the job of spring cleaning. This was a very important job after having left the house untouched for a season. Flora's brothers, Felix, Frederick and Francis, were up now. One was beating the dust out of the carpets and the other two were set washing and drying the dishes. Mama and Papa of the family were attempting to set the house in order, putting things in their places and then moving them somewhere else and in doing so, losing them completely. A good example was the clock. Papa had taken it down off the mantelpiece to wipe it down and wind it up. It was an old clock, you see, and old clocks need to be wound up before they tell the time. And then he put it on the kitchen table. From there, Mama had put it in the study. Papa had taken it into the bedroom Mama had moved it into the pantry, though heaven knows why she put it in with the food. Papa had found it after a lengthy consultation with his wife about where it had come from, and finally he put it back on the mantelpiece. It may have seemed to you that everyone in the house was busy with work, but this was not so. Flora, though she had been asked to dust the bookshelves, decided she was tired of dusting and wanted to do something else. Because Flora had woken up so early and helped, though she had not achieved very much, to prepare the kitchen, she decided that she had done enough for the day. Without asking anyone if she might be excused, she decided she would go for a stroll outside. Flora wondered if there were any berries on the blackberry bush yet. They would be so tasty to snack on. Of course, it was still very early in spring, and when she reached the bottom of the garden where the blackberry bushes stood, she could not find a single one. That What was the use of being awake and not being able to pick some blackberries? Flora sighed. She wished she'd brought a cardigan outside because it was quite cool still. She said to herself, I know, I shall gather some big leaves, if I can find any, and put those round my shoulders. Now most of the garden was quite bare, but round the base of the old oak tree, she found a small patch of yellow flowers. They looked very comfortable. So she sat down and snuggled up in them, and not very long after this, she fell sound asleep. So we shall leave her there for the moment, though I shall let you know a secret. Slinking away from your work like Flora has done does not make the work go away, as we shall see next time we hear about the little mischief-making mouse, Flora. I hope you've enjoyed and can join me again soon for another story about Flora the Mouse. See you soon!